All right, hello and welcome to this video about Duke Energy in South Carolina. If you're watching this video, you're most likely a customer of Duke Energy in South Carolina um, uh, or, or you're, you're considering moving to South Carolina and that's why you're looking at, you know, energy rate, energy costs in that area. Um, uh, uh, you know, or, or maybe you're looking for alternatives to Duke Energy um, to save money and, you know, that's really what this video is about. Um, it's helpful to understand um, what you are currently paying per kilowatt hour of electricity with Duke. Most people do not know this. They just look at their bill and it's, you know, whatever, whatever the bill is, they just pay it. Right. Um, uh, you know, but, but it's, it's, you know, this is, this is helpful to really get clear on, you know, what you're paying and how to reduce your costs. Right. So if you're, if you, if you look online, you'll see that the average Duke energy customer is paying about 16 cents per kilowatt hour of electricity. But that is before things like delivery charges, time of use charges, et cetera. Uh, and all utility companies do this. It's not just Duke, um, you know, and, and, and uh, y you know, you can, you can, you know, we could debate on what, you know, what their reasoning for doing it is. But, you know, I think it's just they, they, they make it extra confusing so that they so that people don't know, um, uh, you know, so it's easier to um, uh, uh, so it's harder to tell, you know, what you're actually paying per kilowatt hour. So I'm going to show you a little formula. Um, that's going to, um, you know, help you to, uh, to, to do that. Right. So, um, so the best way to determine what you're paying per kilowatt hour is to take your monthly bill amount, right. Or at least the electric portion of the bill, if you're also paying for natural gas. So if you're also paying for natural gas, you know, mathematically back out the math, the, the, the natural gas portion of the bill. Um, but, but if you're not, you know, paying for natural gas, you're just paying for electric, then just take the total amount of the bill and divide that number by the total kilowatt hours of electricity that you used that month, which is going to be you know clearly stated on your billing statement. So you can see um, the the uh, uh, in this example the the red circle is showing total kilowatt hours is one thousand eighty in this example. So if your bill is two hundred seventy five dollars and you use twelve hundred kilowatt hours for the month your cost per kilowatt hour is 23 cents. So I would highly recommend that you, you do this to determine how much you're paying per kilowatt hour of electricity, right? We've seen some uh, Duke Energy homeowners paying as much as 30 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, so if you were paying half that much two years ago, like if you're paying, if you're paying twice as much now as you were a couple years ago, which is pretty common, you know, uh, just because of inflation and, and, uh, um, you know, energy, you know, the cost of energy has obviously gone up significantly. Um, but if you were paying half, you know, half of what you're paying now two years ago, you know, it's not unreasonable to think that you could be paying 60 cents per kilowatt hour in another two, five or 10 years, hopefully, you know, on, on the latter side. Um, uh, but, but, you know, potentially less, right. But with solar, what we can do is we can reduce your cost per kilowatt hour to 15 cents or less, right? Potentially reducing your monthly electric costs by up to 50%, right? So the best part is you get to lock in the lower rate for the next 25 years rather than being subject to Duke's annual rate hike. So if you're paying, you know, let's say you're paying 22 cents a kilowatt hour now, right? You know, uh, you know, over, over the next you know, few years, that could be going, you know, 20, you know, 25 cents, 30, 35, 40, 60, you know, 90 cents. I mean, you know, with enough time, you know, 10 years from now, you could be paying 90 cents a kilowatt hour, right? But with solar, we're, we, we can lower your rate less than you're paying now and lock it in so that you're no longer subject to the annual rate hikes from Duke, the inflationary rate hikes that are going to continue happening with Duke. And Duke, Duke Energy has a great net metering program, right? Because uh, Duke offers what's what's known as one-to-one -one net metering. So so what is net metering for those of you that, that don't know? It, it, it's a solar term that states that if your solar system produces more energy than your home uses, you can sell the excess energy back to the utility company, back to the grid, back to Duke, right? And Duke has, you know, a, a, good, a great net metering program where it's called one-to-one -one net metering. And it's, and it's called one-to-one -one because you buy electricity and, and I'm just, I'm just using a, you know, a, 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 I'm not saying this is what you're paying. I just showed you how to determine what you're paying, but let's just say, for example, you're buying electricity from Duke for 22 cents per kilowatt. Um, Duke, Duke will buy it back for 22 cents, right? That is one-to-one -one net metering. 
it may not be that way forever, but at least in the you know the, the time that I'm making this video, it is right. Um, uh, let's see. Uh, for more information about uh, about solar and uh, you know about net metering and and uh, you know the you know how to reduce your monthly energy costs um, uh, with solar and save a ton of money over time. Um, I recommend, you know, clicking the, the link in the description of this video. You can go to my website if you want to quote. It's thenetzerohome.com. But in the description of this video, you can get a free copy of my book, The Definitive Guide to Residential Solar in the U.S. about how to maximize your energy savings, avoid costly mistakes um, in solar, right? And uh, and just make sure that you're, you know, you're, 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 you're getting the best deal possible. That happens through, you know, knowledge and education and knowing what to look out for, right? So the links to that in the, in the description, you can either get a free digital copy of the book or um, uh, you pay a few dollars shipping and you, and you get the physical copy of the book set to your doorstep. So check that out in the description. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.